This time, so in this video, we are looking at antibiotics and painkillers. So there are different types of medicine. So painkillers are drugs which simply relieve pain, yet they do not kill the pathogens. There are also other drugs which do a similar sort of thing, like cold remedies, for example. On the other hand, we can use antibiotics to kill or prevent the growth of the bacteria which are causing the problems. So antibiotics are medicines that can kill the bacteria that causes the disease. Now they work by damaging the bacteria cells without destroying our own cells. Now antibiotics cannot destroy viruses because viruses reproduce inside our cells. Therefore, we cannot produce drugs which kill the virus without harming our cells. Furthermore, bacteria can mutate, which means that they cannot be killed by the antibiotics. This means that the resistant bacteria will survive and reproduce from natural selection. An example of this is MRSA, which can cause serious wound infections. Now, to slow down the rate of resistant strains, doctors should not over-prescribe antibiotics. So, how do bacteria become resistant to antibiotics? As some bacteria do develop resistance to antibiotics as they have a natural mutation. So these mutations are random, yet they produce a new strain of bacteria from natural selection. So for example, if an antibiotic kills 95% of bacteria, yet 5% survive and they have a mutation which makes them resistant to the antibiotic. Now they can then reproduce and they will then pass on this favorable allele which is resistant to the antibiotic. So more types of bacteria are becoming resistant to antibiotics because in the past, antibiotics have been overused. So this means that antibiotics should only be used when absolutely necessary and specific bacteria should be treated with specific antibiotics. That is how we can keep the usefulness of these antibiotics. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.